Hey everyone, it's Ross, and I wanted to show you guys my indoor setup. This is a different indoor setup than there is downstairs, and this is just a different way to do it. I want to talk about what what went into this, the costs, um, how long it really took me to set this up, and just all the really finer details of this little setup here. We've pretty much gotten this set up here for starting seeds, but we're also propagating cuttings, and we also have some different um, seeds here in larger pots. You could pretty much grow anything you want here, I would say, uh, that wasn't going to fruit. So if you didn't want it, if you didn't need it to flower, you just wanted things to grow, this is really a great setup. So we've got ourselves, I think first thing I want to mention is this shelving unit. Got this from Home Depot. Uh, this thing cost me 80 bucks and it's, uh, it's 72 inches tall. So this is six feet tall here, um, and it is four feet wide, which is the perfect width for my lighting system here, which are four foot long shop lights. This is the standard size that you're gonna find just about anywhere. I get the shop light fixtures here at Lowe's for $16. The bulbs are 4100K, which is the Kelvin rating, the color temperature, that's very important. The bulbs cost me, I think, for 12 bulbs I bought this time around, that cost me only 30 bucks. And I got two bulbs per fixture. I probably could add even more fixtures in here, more light bulbs, I should, uh, because two bulbs really doesn't cover this whole thing here. But um, it is making do and we are okay because we've got the window behind us. And that's a south facing window that definitely helps for most of the day these plants are getting that extra bit of sunlight um, but I think the lighting is really really important even just having just the sunlight that's not enough uh, the lighting also provides some extra heat we've got ourselves a nice little thermometer this is absolutely imperative that you have a thermometer here we're also tracking humidity we're at 32 percent humidity we're at 73 degrees right now at a low of 63. That's when the lights go off at nighttime and it's just the heater in the house running. And then we're at 84 when the sun is shining probably about midday on these pots here. So that's a really great temperature, 84 degrees. That'll really boost the germination rates with these things. Also with the figs, it's really gonna help them grow the higher the temperature the faster the metabolism. This thing came with more shelves than what I've put in here. Uh, you can adjust the height of the shelves at whatever height that you want. I had designated this shelf here from bottom to top to be, I think 28 inches if I'm not mistaken. We got 28 inches here, 28 inches for the second shelf, and then I think only about 13 inches down here, something around that. Um, we don't need anything too crazy down below if we're just doing trays here, 128 cells. Again, the light is really important, but um, we don't really need to keep these plants getting too big or to be in these pots for too long. So we're not really um, in this little section down here for the long game. Um, now, what, what else went into this? Now, this may be a bit overlooked, but we got ourselves a surge protector. All the lights get plugged into this or a power strip. It doesn't matter, for, I guess, if it's a surge protector, but you do need some kind of um, either an extension cord, most likely, or something that's going to help this in case maybe there is a fire, unlikely, but uh, this will certainly help against that. Also, you know, you need to have many outlets. And then this surge protector gets then plugged into a timer and I picked this timer up for um, I think it's about 15 13 bucks at Home Depot really inexpensive annoying to set up but I've done it before this will turn the lights on and off for me automatically this will have them on for about 18 hours a day uh, or whatever it is that you guys prefer and I think that's really important because there's no way you're gonna be able to keep these lights on for 18 hours a day unless you're only getting six hours of sleep. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just not gonna be possible. So um, I definitely recommend that. 
you could get a power strip for five bucks. You know, I spent a little extra money and got these extra outlets, got the extra features here with this one. I think inevitably I'll plug this one into my computer uh, or use this one with my computer and use the a crappier, cheaper one with this system here. But that's what I've got for now. The shelf cost me, like I said, 80 bucks. The fixtures were $16 a piece and the lights cost me about 15 fifteen dollars um, we still have six bulbs left over and if you want to count these bins each of these bins costs for anywhere from probably six dollars to thirteen dollars depending on how big the bin is um, the pots down here these are tree pots these cost me a bit more you have to count in for the soil but I am using a different style of pot that is the fabric pots those are much cheaper Actually, not that much cheaper, but definitely cheaper and um, more economical, I think. We've got the trays down here. These guys could, you know, you could pick them up for pretty cheap, but the cheaper you go, the they don't last as long, you know what I mean? So if you're going to be using these many, many times, it is plastic, so consider that. You know, it is going to last longer than certain materials, but if these things are breaking on you because they're so cheap... You know, that's just that's just not too good either. Um, we also have some cow pots down in here. These are the three inch by three inch size. Pretty in uh, inexpensive, I would say overall. And that's really all that went into this. You know, the thermometer here, I think you can get for like five to ten dollars on Amazon. Overall, setting this whole thing up, you know, excluding the the pots and the soil and probably the bins you're looking at probably $150. And that's not really that bad. You know, I don't think that's that bad. So anyway, guys, that was me talking about this whole setup now that we've got up here. You know, we've done also the one downstairs. We've done many videos on that, whether we're talking about seeding or rooting fig cuttings. This is a really great way to do it. And I showed you guys now the second way, and this is probably the most comfortable and ergonomic way uh, than using a closet, but uh, there are some benefits, I think, to using the closet versus having them here in the guest bedroom, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this one. I'll catch you all tomorrow. See you later.